Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCB Labs. For more information and to download the source code of this video, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. So, in this video, we will talk about uh, how to uh, simulate uh, control system basics uh, in Python. Okay, so stay with us till the end. There is a lot to learn. Further, we also provide online training, help in technical assignments. We also do freelance projects based on data science, Python, machine learning, control system, uh, embedded system, etc. So if you have any such requirement, then you can let us know by contacting us through our website, which is www.jcbrolabs.org or you can also mail us at info at jcbrolabs.org. <coughs> Further, we also provide uh, help in thesis work uh, related to PhD or Amtech thesis work so you can contact us for any kind of work okay so coming to our main topic which is uh, some of the control system basics in Python so obviously first of all we have to install a uh, toolbox uh, or a library uh, for the control library in the Python so we are using this anaconda navigator with python 3.7 so generally it opens here so you go to environment and click here and then open terminal so here you just have to install pip install control okay so it is already installed on my system so it will say requirement already satisfied okay so that's fine now we will go to the spider uh, to demonstrate some of the things okay so here we will not be writing this complete code okay instead we will be okay let's undock this console so here's the console uh, as a separate entity okay so here we go okay so first of all we need to import uh, the module so so this uh, control library has several uh, uh, several uh, commands uh, in it and some of the commands are very much familiar uh, uh, as the commands are available in the MATLAB so we will use directly those commands which uh, are available in the MATLAB because most of us are very much familiar with the MATLAB when dealing with the control system okay so uh, what we'll do we will <coughs> import the library so that is from control dot matlab import everything okay okay that's done <coughs> now let's uh, create uh, a control system okay so there are two ways obviously to define uh, a control system type of variable or uh, right so let's define it or a transfer function type of variable so let's b equals to uh, we can say b equals to np okay we don't have imported a numpy numpy as np so let's say b equals to np dot array uh, one comma one okay uh, one comma one and then a equals to np dot array <coughs> let's say one okay so let's try to define a control system with this transfer function a comma b okay our transfer function defined and now let's type this system okay. so our system is defined one by s plus one so that is simple so uh, i hope you are very much familiar with this command uh, what we have done here is uh, we have simply divided by uh, simulated this particular command so these are the coefficients so coefficient of a is 1 and coefficients of b are the coefficient of this and this so 1 and 1 okay so this is one way of defining the transfer function there is a an another way of defining a transfer function by creating a transfer function kind of variable and then simply writing the uh, uh, transfer function uh, as it is okay so how can that be done so let's create a transfer function kind of variable as so tf s 
because it is uh, also widely used in control system uh, in MATLAB and then let's define first system as 1 divided by s plus 1 so here we have simply defined this as a transfer function variable and then we defined the system so now if you write system 1 that is 1 by s plus 1 okay so because we will do several basic things like series combination parallel combination of this system so let's define an another system uh, system 2 so it goes s divided by um, s2 plus 1 so it becomes uh, system 2 is s divided by 2s plus 1 okay so these are the two system so now what we'll do we will create a combination of these two system as a series combination so let's say here is our system 1 and here we have our system 2 okay so we will combine these two system so that it is x it is y so that this can be combined into one system okay so obviously it is a series combination so we can do this one easily uh, in our sys and this one so let's make it a uh, system 3 so system 3 is equals to series of system 1 comma system 2 okay so the system 3 is this one okay s by s square plus 1 now we can also do a parallel combination of these systems so let's say uh, it returns system 3 now what we'll be doing let's say we have our system 1 and here we have our system 3 so what we'll do we will make a parallel combination out of it or the parallel equivalent of this system so here's the x and here's the y so what we'll do we will make a parallel of this so in order to identify the uh, resultant system for this parallel combination there is a command uh, like uh, parallel so we will store in system 4 so it is para parallel so it is system 1 comma ok and then system 4 uh, ok system 4 is not defined sorry it was system 3 Okay, so previous command it should be system 3 ok so let's have a look at system 3 here it is 3s square plus 4s plus 1 and where 2s cube ok so these are some of the basic like how to make a different combination of the system series combination parallel combination all these now next thing comes uh, which we want to cover up in this video is the how to identify the poles or zeros of the system right so we'll take this system so in order to get the poles uh, of the system uh, uh, we will use an another variable let's say p z okay poles p so it can be defined uh, get by poles so poles is the comma okay not poles pole is the comma and then s y s 4 because we want to uh, identify the poles of the system 4 okay so let's p okay so these are the uh, system poles 1 2 3 uh, because it is a, uh, a third order uh, system so there are three poles of it okay now let's get the zeros so we'll store in z and then uh, there's a command like zero of sys4 okay so let's print z okay so these are the two zeros minus one and this one okay let's say minus one yeah minus one is one of the zero and minus 0 0.333 is the another zero of the system okay so by through these two commands we can identify poles and zeros of the system now let's say if we want to plot it a uh, pole zero plot of the system okay so there is a command pz map it automatically creates the pole zero plot of the system so pz map of system 4 okay here it is so remember uh, uh, two poles are very much uh, near to each other and one of the zero is also very much near to this one so that is why we are getting this kind of uh, 
cross and zero here and another zero is at this location and the pole at this location at this cross location okay okay so try to make a grid on okay there is no such command as a grid okay now what we'll do let's uh, make uh, another system so that we can have a different poles and zeros okay so yeah system 5 let's uh, make up a uh, parallel of system 2 comma system 4 system 5 is will be a little complex one yeah here yeah. 2 s to power 4 okay let's make a pole zero plot of it pz map of system 5 okay again okay these are the two systems okay so let's ma pz map of system 3 here about the system there you remember what was the system 3 okay so this is how we can create uh, small things uh, in python so this was the first part so in in our next video we'll talk about uh, how to make uh, uh, how to make a time response or frequency response of the system using python so that's it for this video uh, finally we also provide online training help in technical assignments we also do freelance projects based on data science python machine learning embedded system etc we also help student in their P uh, phd thesis or ms thesis or mtech thesis work as well so if you have any such requirement then you can let us know by contacting us through our website which is www.jcbrolabs.org or you can also mail us at info at jcbrolabs.org so i hope you learned a lot from this video so if you have any doubt or any suggestion you can let us know by commenting below this video okay so that's it for this video thank you